is Jamie Willard. I'm a consultant with Encryption Consulting, and today we're going to be covering the CI-CD integration using Jenkins. What is code signing? Code signing is the process of digitally signing executables and scripts to confirm the author's identity and provide assurance that the code has not been altered or compromised in any way while in transit. First, a software publisher who wants to digitally sign code will generate a public-private key pair and create a CSR, or Certificate Signing Request. They will submit the public key and CSR to a certificate authority, who will verify the identity of the publisher and authenticate the publisher's digitally signed certificate request. Then, they will bundle the identity of the publisher with a public key and sign the bundle with their issuing CA certificate, creating a code signing certificate that will be issued to the software publisher for code signing. Armed with the code signing certificate, the publisher is ready to sign code. When code is signed, several pieces are added to the original file holding the executable code. This bundled information is used by the application to validate the publisher and check against code tampering. How does code signing work? A public-private key pair and certificate signing request are created for the publisher. A hash of the code is produced by passing it through a hashing algorithm, creating a fixed length digest of the file. The hash is cryptographically unique representation of the file. The hash can be reproduced only by using the unaltered file and hashing algorithm that was used to create the hash. The hash is passed through a signing algorithm using the publisher's private key as an input. Information about the publisher and the CA is drawn from the code signing certificate and incorporated into the signature. The original code, signature, and code signing certificate are bundled together. The code signing certificate key is added into the bundle as the public key is required to authenticate the code when it is verified. The code is now ready for distribution and is packaged in a form that will allow the user to verify for authenticity. Why should your organization implement code signing? Code signing establishes trust in the application or update being provided to the user. It opens the door for your product to be included in app stores. It provides a means to detect malicious alteration of legitimate code and it reduces the risk of identity theft or reputational damage to your organization as it validates the application author and integrity of the application. All computing and smart devices allow installing software. Some might be upgrades and patches, while some might be additional applications. In most cases, users are asked to make a spot decision, run or don't run, install or don't install, or run or cancel. Run or don't run Ask the user whether or not to run the downloaded code. How does a user decide? How does a user or user agent know whether or not to trust the software? The answer is code signing. Users should only allow installation of software that is signed by a trusted certificate authority. A digitally signed code by a trusted authority provides assurance that the software they are installing is not a malicious code or an alteration of code to become malicious. We will now discuss the CI-CD pipeline and the benefits implementing it in your environment can provide to your organization. What are CI and CD? CI is continuous integration. It's an approach to continually validate the state of a code base through automated testing. It facilitates collaboration, speed, and software quality. CD, or continuous development, is an extension of CI that goes beyond integrating code changes and focuses on automating the deployment process. Automation of stages like building, testing, packaging, and deployment. A full CI CD pipeline involves planning, coding, building, testing, releasing, deploying, and operating. CI-CD can be implemented with the assistance from a variety of different platforms. 
Today we'll be focusing on Jenkins. Jenkins is a popular open source automation server with extensive plugin support enabling customizable and scalable CI CD pipelines. Jenkins is an open source automation server widely used for continuous integration and continuous delivery processes. Jenkins allows developers to define and automate build and deployment workflows, enabling efficient software development practices. It offers a web-based interface for configuring and managing pipelines, making it accessible and user-friendly. First, for Jenkins, you'll need to download and set up Jenkins, configure the pipeline, and then build the pipeline to sign your file. Jenkins has many benefits, including extensibility, Jenkins has a vast ecosystem of plugins, allowing it to integrate with a wide range of tools and technologies. It provides flexibility and customization options to tailor the CI-CD process to specific project requirements. Easy integration. Jenkins can seamlessly integrate with various version control systems, build tools, testing frameworks, and de well, deployment technologies. Distributed and scalable. Jenkins can distribute workloads across multiple nodes, making it scalable and capable of handling large-scale builds or deployments. And wide platform support. Jenkins is platform independent and supports multiple operating systems, including Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. We will now provide a short video demo on how to work with Jenkins. First, you'll need to sign in. Then you'll create a new pipeline. You'll select a name for your pipeline as you wish. And then select OK. From there, you will paste or type the code for your pipeline into the script window. Then you will be able to build your pipeline Once your pipeline is built you'll be able to see the successful signing results in the log. This completes our tutorial on how to use Jenkins for signing.